Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Rabia Yunus and uh, um, uh, I've been recently qualified working as salary GP in Luton. I'm one of Willow Park's vlogger. Today I will be uh, sharing my thoughts and experiences with you guys. If you have any question, please pop uh, them below uh, in comment section and we will try to answer those in our upcoming vlogs. Uh, make sure you don't forget to follow Menlo Park on uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, YouTube so you don't miss out any of my videos. So let's start today's um, uh, topic. Um, uh, today I'm going to discuss about uh, preconceptions about GP training and how uh, true-false are these in hindsight. I think there's a false narrative that GP training is very easy uh, because it's only for three years and uh, it's like a nine to five job. You don't have to do uh, nights, on calls um, or uh, weekends, uh, but actually it's not true because in that three year you have to pass two tough exams and you have to uh, complete your work based assessments in order to get CCT. So I think uh, the three years is not enough for that. Um, the um, uh, other thing is because when you're doing hospital course, you have to do nights, on calls, weekends, and especially. Uh, even in GP land, you have to do out of hours. Uh, so, um, yeah, and it's not a nine to five job anymore. You, you, you sometimes, you, you, even in GP land, you are finishing quite late because I think uh, there is a lot of pressure on general practices nowadays, uh, especially after COVID and uh, um, uh, their expectations from GP trainees are more nowadays because they are expected to work more. They are expected to work more independently um, nowadays because of all uh, of the situation going on. Um, and uh, that's, the, that, that's the reason it could be very uh, demanding and challenging, uh, especially if you you are um, a female uh, uh, if you are a female doctor and uh, with the family and working full time Uh, when I started training, uh, everybody was saying, oh, it's really boring. Uh, you will be sitting in your clinic, seeing patients, uh, just referring them to secondary care. Uh, but uh, actually, that's not true because um, uh, I think as a trainee, as a GP trainee, I have seen far more complex cases uh, as compared to the uh, hospital uh, rotations. And uh, this training is not polishing your clinical skills, but also helping in your personal growth as well because it, it helps you in uh, being a good doctor because as a GP you have to be a very good listener uh, you have to be very patient uh, kind show empathy sympathy to your patient so because you are seeing them again and again and in order to build a good relationship uh, uh, with your patients because I think they they trust their GPs more than uh, the um, hospital uh, doctors um, so in order uh, to improve good patient care, uh, you, you have um, to improve your personal uh, growth and development, uh, I think, um, as well. Um, the other thing is there are a lot of career options. Um, once you are qualified GP, you, you have a good control on your work, I must say, because you can choose uh, um, how much you want to work and you, you can sort of choose your rota uh, and your pattern so uh, that's the freedom you will get after um, uh, after being an independent GP uh, but not during the training um, and uh, uh, with regards to career options because you can develop your interest in a lot of specialities and in or, uh, not only you're running the clinical sessions you can run other uh, sessions as well you can go into um, education and training there are a variety of options available uh, which are not available in um, uh, hospital uh, medicine I would say and I think GPs are far better than uh, the hospital medicine because uh, you have very good uh, history taking and examination skills and your judgment your decision making is far better than the hospital medicine because you 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 have to decide in 10 minutes uh, with the very limited resources uh, so um, uh, so i would say like um, uh, if uh, if you are coming to the gp20 uh, think wisely before you come into it uh, and i wish you all the best um, and i would say the fun uh, starts after uh, an independent gp 
but during training is 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 quite different. Mm-hmm.